So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go out and customize your WooCommerce order receipt emails that your customers get after they buy from your website using a drag and drop builder inside of WordPress. Now, this is the template that we're gonna go out and build in this tutorial, but it's a drag and drop builder. The sky's the limit to how you wanna design it. This is what we achieve. So we have our logo and an introduction up the top. We have a call to action. It introduces it more about our brand. And then we have the order details of the products that the customer ordered. And then we have some upsells here and then we have our live chat, refer a friend, those sort of things where we can link out and give people more support post-purchase. Now, to actually go and build these emails, we're gonna be using a plugin called Autonami. And I've tried so many different ways to go out and customize my WooCommerce emails over the years. This is literally the best one in my eyes. So what we're going to do throughout this tutorial is run through the drag and drop page builder, which if we click into this here and then launch the editor. So you have your elements here, you have your column layout. So I'm gonna run through all of this here to give you guys an idea of how it all works. But what I'm going to do also as a bonus, because I feel like this is extremely important to do in your WooCommerce website, is I'm going to show you how we have this automation here, where if somebody goes through and they pay, and then their order goes into processing, we're going to send people different order receipt emails based on the number of times they're bought from our website. So for example, this one here, if it's their first order, if we go down and we generate a preview, using the Autonomy plugin, you can drag and drop and design your email to look like like this, but then you also have the logic of building these automations where you can do this. So the first order, we actually say, thank you for your first order. Uh, did you know that we're eco-friendly? You've made the right choice. They can read more about our story and then they can go down and they can have a look at what they ordered just to make sure that there's no problems there. But we're calling out that this is their first order, get to know our brand a bit better. Now we could do that for every person that orders, but if this customer's ordered three or four times, they already know about our brand. So it's just, a waste of real estate there. But what we can also do is if it's their second or third email, we can send them a different email which says, hey customer, you're back. Thank you for purchasing again. Did you know that we have a loyalty and rewards program? Because this customer is obviously buying a lot. They may as well start earning points and maybe that'll incentivize them you know, more. So instead of just hitting the repeat purchases with this is our brand, this is our brand, and then being like, yeah, I know about your brand. Now we can customize this message based on how many times they've ordered. And that's what we're going to cover in this. So we're going to focus around rebuilding our WooCommerce order receipt emails using Autonami, using the drag and drop builder. And then I'm going to cover how you can go out and set up these more advanced things that give your user a better experience. So let's get into it. Let's look at the email builder inside of Autonami. So here we are inside the Autonami plugin. And if I click to edit an email, I can launch the editor. And so this works like your favorite WordPress page builder. You have your rows and then you just have your modules. So if we go down to blocks, this is how we build our grid. And then under content, this is the content that we would add into that grid. So this is a logo, uh, this is a text module, and then here, this is two columns. And then here I've added an image module. This is a bit of text. Uh, let's go ahead and let's add a heading because maybe we wanna have you know a header after someone purchases and then maybe just explain uh, a little bit about our, our um, business. So you made the right eco-friendly sources that. So this one here, let's just drag that up under here and maybe they could go uh, our story. We could also change the line height there, bring that down a bit. Uh, the padding, we can change that a little bit. We'll give a bit more on the top just to pull that uh, down so it's like this. And then this button over here, we're gonna align over here. And now that's looking nice and neat. And we might give some padding to this row and we'll go like that. You know, I'm just doing this to show you like how easy it is to go out and do this because I've tried so many different ways to build these WooCommerce emails to the point where I just gave up doing it. And I was running a WooCommerce website for a couple of years and I just didn't bother, you know, doing this. I had tried to go to code Canyon and bought pre-made PHP files that you can get as a bundle and then you um, add them to your child theme. And it just it just didn't really work. I just didn't really like it. So this is the easiest way that I've gone out um, to, to find to go out and do it. So, so we've gone and created that template here. Now the actual order summary, these are in Autonami and the plugin are called merge tags. So you might be used to these, but basically if we just get rid of this, you click over here under merge tags and this one is called auto items like this. So Select, and we're gonna do WooCommerce order summary layout, copy to clipboard, you paste that there. And then that code, when it goes to render the email to send to the customer, it gets their order data and puts it out as a table. And then here you might also like the exact same thing, but we're just putting related products into rows. And there's just a merge tag for the related products there. So if I redo this one and we'll go merge tags, type in related products, select, and we're gonna do product rows, copy, paste. And then let's just make this stand out a little bit more. So for 
for the row properties, we're gonna make this white and I might just delete this divider. And then here I'm gonna add a bit of padding to the top and then to the bottom just to space it out a little bit. And you know what, let's actually go ahead and we're gonna duplicate this and then we're gonna drag this over here and go, here are the items you have ordered. And then we will just change this here. I'm Again, I'm just doing this. It might make sense to everyone, but it's always good to know how a plugin works behind the scenes. Uh, let's make that a green. Now we'll save that. Okay, and uh, let's just keep going. Let's add a couple more things. Let's go ahead and we're going to add a footer area down the bottom. And this will be like our CTA area sort of thing. Like our, our here's our support, here's what we offer. Let's click here. We'll make this a white background. And then I'm gonna give some padding to this as well. Might do 25 top and bottom, just nice and space. And then we're gonna add content and we're gonna drag in an image. And then I'm gonna click and upload an image. Okay, there it is. I'm gonna click and add that in. So there that is down there. Um, I didn't design this. This is just an email that another company sent me that I had in my inbox. I was just showing you sort of, you know, some of the stuff that you could add. Now this, you could do a URL. So uh, we could go down here, the link. Uh, we could just link this to our support page or, you know, whatever. You could actually go ahead if you wanted to and go to blocks and you could do four different columns, splice each of these into their own image. And then each image would have a URL somewhere else. That's another way that you could do this. Again, we're not getting to the nitty gritty details like that. I'm just showing you, um, you know, basically how easy this is to do this. So let's go ahead and up the top, we're gonna send a test email and I'll show you guys what this looks like. Okay, so here's that test email. We can have a look and you can see just from those changes, it looks so much better. And that's me not spending any time on it. So coming back here, once you're done, there's a couple of different things that I wanna show you here that are really powerful. So if we exit out of this, okay, so what is Autonomy? Because where are we actually building this email? So if we go to automations, so automations are the equivalent in active campaign is what they call automations or Clavio, what they call flows, where you have a trigger. And then when that trigger occurs, you set off a series of actions with conditions. So this is another thing that Autonomy does. So if we go and click into the order processing one that we were just in. So if we have a look here, this is the trigger or the event when an order goes goes into processing status. And that happens inside of WooCommerce when a successful payment is made by your customer, the order goes into processing. So then when that happens, if it's their first order, yes, we send them this email that we just designed um, previously. If it's not their first order, then we could send them this email. So you're sort of starting to understand that the email builder here inside Autonomy is, just, is such a fraction of what this plugin can do. Now, looking at this email here, if you don't wanna go out and design you know, pretty emails using the drag and drop builder, you have two other options as well. So you have rich text, which is like your WYSIWYG editor where you can just write your text into there. You still have access to the merge tags. So if we generate a preview, this is what it would look like there. And then if we go up the top, we have the third option, raw HTML. The only time I feel like you'd ever use this is if you were using an external email builder where you're generating the emails there and then copying and pasting the code into here. But with the drag and drop builder being so good these days, I don't really see why you would go and do that. But there's always exceptions to these rules. But that option is there if you want to do that. So now that we've gone through how the email builder works and these three different types of emails you can build, I want to focus more on the Autonomy plugin and the automations and how you can enhance your order receipt emails. So if we have a look here, the logic that we're doing here is when the order goes into processing, if it's their first order, we're sending this email here. But what if we actually get rid of this email here? So we'll just go up here and we'll go delete to remove the action. And then we're going to copy this one from here, paste it down there. And then we're going to go back and we're going to edit this one. So this one says, thank you for your first order from our website. We really appreciate it. You made the right choice. So this one is explaining more about the brand. It's saying that it is their first order. We could highlight that. Uh, we could put some more things in there that explain a bit more about you know, the history of the brand and how they can get help and so on. But if we save this and exit back out of this, if we go to this one, it's where it's maybe their second or their third order. Order. Let's go ahead and launch the editor and we might decide that, you know what, if they've already bought a couple of times from our website, we don't really need to tell them about our brand, but you might want to add something different. So what could you add here for somebody that's purchasing a second or a third time? So we could say, hey, you're back. Thank you for purchasing again. Your order details are below. And then maybe you have a loyalty and rewards system that you want to point out to them because they're coming back a little bit. So you go um, earn points and save with our rewards program. 
program. Did you know about our loyalty program? So here it'd say read more and that would go to your loyalty program and you could change this to another image. So we'll just upload this one here, just like that. And then here are the items that you ordered. You might also like these and we'll click save. You could also, if we go back, now that we've done that, we could exit out of this. So now if we click on this and we generate the preview down here, we have this one here, it's your first order. Read more about our story, our impact statement, and then some upsells. And then this one here, generate preview. Thank you for ordering again. Here's our loyalty program like this, some more upsells there. But we could actually go out and break this as many times as we want. So we could go here and we could go conditional action. So these are all the different things that you could break out people and segment them by and then do specific things for them. So here we're sending emails. You can also integrate um, Twilio and other SMS services and send emails using Autonomy as well. But an another example here could be um, if the total revenue from that customer, so the lifetime value is over a specific amount, maybe you send them a coupon code just for them. Uh, you could do that in a separate automation as well. That just depends how you want to do it. But that would be one idea. The one that I'm going to show you now would be, uh, for example, if they have the total orders count over a specific amount. So we have our first order there. Maybe it's their second order. So we could go um, total orders count is, is equal to, and then we could do two like that. And now we could send, we'll copy this and then paste that there. And now we could edit this and say, uh, welcome, your second order has been received. Um, I've often found that there's so much power here that the hardest thing is just trying to plan out the automations and how they work because you can do so much here um, that yeah, it's the hardest thing is just working out how you're gonna actually structure it inside Autonomy. The last thing that we need to do and that I wanna show you in this video and an important one is if we activate this, this is going to start happening. So when orders are placed and put into processing status, this is live and customers are gonna start getting emails. So what we need to do now is we need to go to WooCommerce and then settings and then here under emails, if we go down, it says processing order. So this is an order notification sent to the customers containing order details after payment. So we actually need to disable this off, otherwise the customer is gonna get two emails. So we need to click into this and then turn this off and save changes. And now that's off. So if we click back into emails, you can see that this is now disabled and Autonami has taken ownership of that function. Now in my main WooCommerce website, I've gone ahead and replaced all of these emails using Autonami. So not only am I not sending you know emails that I can't really edit easily because these are using PHP files in the WooCommerce plugin, but I'm able to go out and design them using a drag and drop page builder style interface. And I can do more complexity by breaking out inside the automations based on conditions. So I'm doing a lot of different advanced stuff behind the scenes here for each of these emails. And you can go ahead and do it. And you guys just saw how easy it is. So the next thing before you go out and start building these emails inside Autonomy, I want to show you how you can save time doing all of this. And that's under Autonomy and then templates. So if we click add new and we'll just call this a default wage pirate and we click add, we're now designing designing a default template that we can reuse when we're building our emails just to keep the consistency in the branding throughout all the emails we're sending through Autonomy. So if we go to drag and drop and we're gonna launch the editor and we're gonna drag a column in here and then this column here, we're going to uh, make black. I'm basically just gonna redesign what I had in the previous uh, emails that we've been looking at here. So I'm gonna go really fast. I might actually um, just pause the video now and I'll come back once I've done it. And I'll just show you here. So this is where you get your merge tag when you're writing in a text editor. Just go merge tag up here, contact, and we're just gonna get their first name. So hi, first name. And then you could write a bit of text here it's like that. I like to put X's when I'm doing templates just so I know that I need to replace it. So that's all good. So let's save that and we'll exit out of this. And now I'll show you how to use that as an email uh, as a template. So if we go back to an automation and let's just create a new automation and let's just say we're doing the on hold email, a little bonus uh, email here for this video. So here for the event, you have all these events. I'm gonna go through them really quickly, but you can pause your screen and just look at all of them. So I'm going to going like so. Uh, but the one we're concerned about the order status changes. So uh, status, order status changes like that. When it changes to on hold, then here we're going to send an email and we're going to send an email like this. And then we're going to select templates over here and then default wage pirate apply. We can launch the editor. Okay. Now we've just opened it like this. And then we could say it here, your order is on hold like that. And then we can make that text a little bit bigger. Your order is on hold and then uh, we could explain you know why it's happening if you just want to move this above maybe it makes a bit more sense you just drag it into place and now we're like that so let's just save that and we'll exit out of
out of this. And then here we can say your order is on hold there. And now it's all good to go. So we're just gonna go and generate the preview. And this is what it looks like. So you can see it's looking a lot better than the out of the box WooCommerce emails. Uh, so we've done that. And then what we can do is we've got to activate it. Now this is active. We'll go back to here and then this email over here. We're just gonna disable this. And now we've replaced another email that WooCommerce does with an Autonami email. And again, I will just keep going down the process. You guys can see how easy it is, uh, but I would recommend going and creating a master template like I just did before you go out and create any of the emails. It's gonna save you so much time. So now that you understand how Autonami works, what I would recommend doing now is going to my YouTube channel and watching these latest five videos that I've uploaded. They're all about Autonami and the plugin called WooFunnels, which is a sales funnel builder that replaces ClickFunnels inside of WordPress. And when you go and buy Autonami, you can actually bundle it with WooFunnels. And I really recommend doing that. And these videos are going to explain basically how you can combine those two plugins to increase your sales and automate your store and make it more professional as I've shown you in this video. But yeah, definitely go and watch these five videos here. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. I help people go from frustrated preneur where you're not sure how to do things yourself, but you don't want to hire a developer to a successful preneur where you're empowered and you can go and set up these things by yourself to save you time and cut down your costs so you can bootstrap and get your business to where you want it to be ASAP. So I'll end this video now. Consider subscribing, like this video if you got value out of it and I'll see you guys in the next video.